Hello, um, coming back with yarn counter set up for my EEW yarn counter. Um, I have a lot of com um, friends complaining that um, it's not working, they don't like it, even in the Facebook group. Um, so I'm just showing you how I actually use this one. So I use a flat surface, um, it can be flat um, horizontally or vertically. If I'm using my um, spinning wheel, I can actually put it vertically. And I just use the peg as usual. And then I secure it in. It doesn't have to be too tight. It's just that as long as it doesn't move. Once it's secure and it doesn't move at all, I'm going to uh, pull the yarn, prepare the yarn ready. Um, so here, the spring here, you can actually move it around. Um, this is actually helping to make sure that your yarn is secured and coming in flat rather than in an angle. When it comes in an angle, that's why it comes off easily from the circular reel of the yarn counter. So um, for this one, this is the yarn that I've prepared. And then I put it in and I circle it one, two three four because my yarn is quite thin and then i put it out into the other side and then um, using um ball winder this is just an or uh, ordinary ball winder that i got from uh, ebay uh, i won't show it on the um, video and then uh, after that make sure that everything is tied give me a second And then let's start moving. And that's it. So again, um, the tips for this using um, the uh, EEW yarn counter is to make sure that the springs on the sides are ensuring that the yarn comes in flat. Uh, put the yarn counter in a flat surface. And if you are working with a smaller or thinner yarn, please make sure that you do want, uh, more than one round of the circle. Uh, and in this uh, example, I put three to four uh, circle before I pull it out from the circle wheel. I think that's it. Thanks. See you again next time. Bye.